The Lakeland City Commission meeting on September 20th began with a presentation by Julie Townsend, Executive Director of the Lakeland Downtown Development Authority. In her presentation, Julie shared a number of exciting advancements, developments, and aesthetic renovations that are happening downtown, making it an even greater hub of activity that all of our residents can enjoy. She also shared a brief overview of a series of events coming to downtown Lakeland this fall and winter. For all the latest news about what's happening in downtown Lakeland, visit downtownlkld.com or find them on Facebook at downtownlkld. In the official business of the meeting, the Real Estate and Transportation Committee brought forward two items, a lease agreement with Skyway Leasing, a Florida-based company, who are seeking to lease office and classroom space to provide aviation training and aircraft rental services, as well as four tie-down spaces for aircraft. They also brought forward the purchase of 101 acres of land for the development of a community park in Southwest Lakeland. Both of these items were met with unanimous approval from the City Commission. Four public hearings came before the Commission for a vote, an amendment to the City of Lakeland's Affordable Housing Incentive Plan, which would see a significant expansion to the area of Lakeland covered in this plan, a request for approval of a new cell tower in South Lakeland near Sam's Club, the approval of permitting and regulations for the operation of non-motorized vehicles for hire on designated streets in Lakeland, and an amendment to allow driveway access off of Airport Road for Parkway Preserve, a new housing community located south of Carolyn Boulevard. Each of these items were passed unanimously. The Commission also spent time analyzing the expansion of the Hawthorne Mill North Community Development District and discussing the implications of an increasing population and the need for additional schools in Lakeland. The ordinance expanding Hawthorne Mill will come up for a second reading at the next Commission meeting. City Manager Sean Chiraus brought three items to the Commission for approval. A recommendation to ratify a collective bargaining agreement with the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local 108 a recommendation to allow Lakeland Linder International Airport to negotiate with engineering firms to enter a professional engineering consulting services contract, and a renewal of city insurance covering a large number of properties and liabilities. Each of these items were also passed unanimously. Manager Shirouse also announced that the city has received a $215 million prepayment from Lakeland Regional Health for the lease of their hospital property through 2040. A board has been established to begin incrementally investing these funds. The meeting concluded with a number of resolution, agreement, and amendment approvals, including the approval of a sales agreement to purchase natural gas from the city of Clearwater, Florida for the next four years and six months. For a detailed look at all the agenda items, or to watch this meeting in its entirety, click on the links in the description below. I'm Andrew Gash with the Communications Department for the City of Lakeland, and those are your Meeting Minutes.